To Wells Fargo's center we go for game three between the Sixers and Knicks. Well Tyrese done, young Maxie man. Well his done. Most improved trophy and Jalen Brunson and Joel Embiid going at it in game three. Oh, get off me, little man. On top two, nothing. Mitchell Robinson taken down by Embiid early. That's a flagrant one. He lucky, man. Mm. And Dante having words with Embiid. This was an intense, this was an intense night in Philly and Maxi. Hey, Ernie, when you're down 3-2 zip at home, it's very intense. No doubt. 29-27, Knicks after one, Jalen Brunson. Best definitely. game of the series. He's definitely looking for his tonight. 39 and 13 oh. on 13 of 27 shooting, and he knocks down a three. Got to hit that wide over shot, Ernie. Meantime, Embiid going to be called oh. for his third foul in the first half. I'm flopping. Right there. Why's he flopping? Look, he's still moving. <laughs> yeah, because the dude ran over. People moving backwards. You're already falling back. Embiid stays in with the three fouls. Tell him to flop to on work. this. Tell him to flop on that, Embiid. Oh. Game tied at 49. Watch Dante DiVincenzo. Oh, oh. from Josh Hart. Go get that, big man. Don't you jump. That was a, that was a real cut, great pass, great finish. 58-55 really. Knicks at the break. Mitchell Robinson re-injured that left ankle, the one that had been surgically repaired. He would not play in the second half. This game was tied at 66. Philadelphia went 16 to 6 on them and outscored the Knicks 43 to 27 in the quarter. Yeah, with Embiid scoring 18 of his 50. In yeah. the third quarter. Yeah, in that third quarter, he was hot, especially from the three-point line. Oh. Brunson, somehow. Somehow. Some way. OG. Brunson to OGA. And it's an eight-point game with under five minutes to play. The pass. Oh, give me that. Hartenstein denied. Oh. By Nick Batum. Great that's block. a good block right there. Oh, that's oh. a foul. After the nope. fact, he don't have the ball. Yeah, he don't have he the ball. hit people in the head. He don't, he don't have the ball. ball. So Joel Embiid goes for 50, eight rebounds, four assists, went 13 out of 19 from the floor, five out of seven from deep. And the uh, that's the first time since Michael Jordan in 93 that somebody's gone for 50 against the Knicks in a playoff game. Stephanie Reddy worked the sidelines. Here she is. Back and forth. This crowd was intense. We saw a career playoff high out of Joel Embiid. How did he do it? He's good at basketball. You know, he's, he's out there fighting his tail off, though, man. He's not 100%, but he's going out there giving his all offensively and defensively, and we appreciate him for that. Joe, I guess the first question is, there's a report out there that you, you suffered a uh, case of Bell's palsy. What exactly happened, and what, how are you feeling? I think he started the, the day or two before the Miami game, and I had, you know, bad migraines and uh, thought it was nothing. But usually I don't like to check it out, but for some reason I – I ended up, you know, having to tell, you know, somebody my left side of my face, uh, my mouth, and um, yeah, and my eye. Uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been tough, but you know, I'm not a, I'm not a quitter. It is unfortunate. Um, every single year, uh, you know, you start asking yourself questions like, you know, why? You know, every single year. The one thing I'm not going to do is give up. No matter what happens, uh, got to keep pushing, got to keep fighting, got to keep putting my body on the line. Um, I can't sit back and be like, you know, every single time I feel bad about myself, why me? Uh, Bell's palsy, a condition that causes sudden weakness in the muscles on one side of the face. Often that weakness is short term and improves over weeks. The weakness makes half of the face appear to droop. Smiles are one-sided, and the eye on the affected side is wow. often hard to close. Mm, wow. So that's what uh, Joel Embiid has been dealing with. And tonight, he dealt with the uh, New York Knicks yeah. in a big way he, with he, 50. He was fabulous tonight. He did everything possible. Uh, you know, but, you know, I'm looking at these stats. He, he was great. Got to give him number of love and flowers. Oh, man, they're not going to beat the Knicks. They don't get some help. I mean, they only got two guys. He, they, uh, listen, the, the dancing machine 
uh, Payne came Can't in pay. and gave, gave them a nice little lift. But those other guys got to step up, man, because you can't expect a guy to go out and get 50 every game. But he was fabulous. Ubre did give him 15. Yes, tonight. but but you know we got it. Buddy Hill didn't score. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas Batum only had two points. I mean, three points. Excuse me. But he he's got to get some help, man. But he was fabulous tonight, plain and simple. I said before the game he needed a, 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 a excellent performance. I asked for 40 and 20 and put up 50 and 8. So, you know, I, I think this would be inspiration for the other guys to step up. Chuck is absolutely right. He's, uh, he's not, probably won't get 50. They're probably going to make a lot of adjustments. So, now he can, you know, make the right play to other guys and they got to go get it and they got to want to win. They have to want to tie this series. But he did everything I wanted him to do tonight. Well, when you look at the 76ers, Ernie, you know, this is, was supposed to be a, a, a long series. And so this is not a surprise to me in, in the sense that they have an opportunity to be there. But, man, there's some great people on that. That's look at that. Table look at your Joel name on that list, Chuckster. That's 50 pretty. points, 8 rebounds, shooting 68% or better. Yeah, that's what Chris Webber pissed me off and made the Nike commercial. I want to give did. it to him. Yeah. I want to give it to you, C. Webb. You made the Nike commercial. Love you, C. Webb. Miss you, brother. I'll tell you what. But, you know, was, uh, it made, it, listen, that was a... Uh, uh, MVP performance. He kind of just hijacked. Your... Oh no, go ahead, Kenny. I'm no, sorry. but go ahead. All right. no, go I, ahead. I, I, well, for me, again, this is going to be a long series. You know, the Knicks. You know, first they don't have Randall, and now you lose Mitchell Robertson in the second half. That's a that's a very difficult. The size that they don't have to you know to guard. You have you need size to guard Joel Embiid. Regardless, and if you do it, if you do have size, he still would have had 44. You know what I mean? So he, he might not have 50, but he had 44. So he, he's a, a difficult cover, but without a Julius Randle to, you know, offset it, and then a Mitchell Robinson. The Hartenstein isn't side. playing great, but he got in foul trouble. He did, of course. They went to Precious and Chua uh, yeah, but I think after a that, while. I, I think that yeah. Brunson's got to calm down and not shoot the ball as much. I think he's hunting a little bit too much. He took, it says 27 shots. But if you act in free throws, he probably shot 30 to 35 shots. That's too much for a point guard. He's having a terrific year, but he's got to foul another way because this team is much better when Hart, DiVincenzo, OG, uh, uh, Precious. He's got to find a way to get those guys involved because when you're a point and Dante guard. Dante only had five tonight. Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah but, th but that's up to the point guard because his, his job is to get you know, the ball to those other guys. That's when they're at their best, when Hart and DiVincenzo are playing great. Hart, I mean, I, no, I'm not going to take away anything from Bronson, but I think over 30 shots is too much for a point guard, in my opinion. Sunday is game four. That'll be on ABC uh, with Philly trying to uh, hold serve at home and tie this thing up at two games apiece. Um, I lost you, again. You were so close. Wait, what happened? Again. You, you needed 10 from Tobias Harris. Dude, you can't get 10 points? And he gave, he gave you eight. Where Are you go, serious, Chuck? man? Three and twenty-six. Loser. Loser. Come on, man. Loser. <laughs> you can't. Come on, man. Ten points. Three and twenty-six. Come on, man. Chester's record. Ten <laughs> points. Is this spirit broken? No, I no, I got a win. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm still. I beat you last time we raced, so I'm uh, good. Is spirit broken? Oh, here's that uh, that oh, game you're talking about. Too, uh, here's that play. Ah, uh, yeah, go ahead and jump, you big off. dummy. Did he look at you too? He looked at me. And then Nike had made it a commercial. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, Howard White and Lynn Merritt. Don't y'all ever make no commercial about me getting dunked on.